Now on the pipe it's about a one eighth gap uh, feathers edge and uh, one eighth filament. Uh, Lay wire technique. Kind of like welding that's like stainless. Just as long as you don't break surface tension. Uh, now when you're doing this, if you don't get a line down the middle, it means you're welding too cold. Because your uh, film mill is sitting on top of the bevels and you want it to sink past the bevels. And that uh, that's an indication that you're uh, get the line down the middle. And I'll show you in a minute here. Uh, as long as you get that line down the middle, you know, your puddle's sinking. And it's breaking down the uh, bevel tips. This guy is really going to keep a constant pressure on the uh, on the weld here. On the uh, it's going to give a, a pushing down pressure to the tip of the fill metal into the uh, what's it called here? The uh, basically, basically you're pushing the tip of the fill metal into the pipe here. Just so when you watch over it, you know it's going to get the uh, this is going to help uh, penetrate through.
I gotta kind of forget his camera, it's a Samsung. So I can zoom in here. When it comes to depth, basically, this lay wire is just all it's doing is breaking down the abel tips here. It's a very flat root pass. Now like I was saying about the other side, if you don't get this line down the middle, you're welding too cold. So this line down the middle here, you can see the ripple definition moving very, very fine movements. So you see this line down the middle, it means that the I have adequate uh, heat, I'm at about 120 amps, and I'm pushing the uh, weld puddle down. So this is the uh, layer wire technique. Same line as stainless and same line as uh, well as carbon steel here. This is where I stopped. So like I was saying, uh, one eighth gap. Uh, feather's edge, so no land, otherwise your uh, root pass won't penetrate through. Uh, and walk in the cup at 12 o'clock. And, um, but 120 amps, 1 8th fill of metal. And uh, Miller Dynasty, uh, 350. It's a lay wire technique. And I shut the power off on the welding position here, so 